Thursday night football, Cowboys, Giants. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money. Free play with analysis coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your Thursday night NFL matchup, Dallas at New York. NFC East battle, NFC East divisional matchup between two one and two teams. Now, a lot of people might have thought the Giants were off to a good start if they went one and two, but we all knew the Cowboys' one and two start would be disappointing, and that's exactly what it is. And Looking back, their week one win against Cleveland's a little less impressive now that the Browns don't look too good, especially since the Giants just got their only win against Cleveland as well. So if you take out the Cleveland Browns, the Cowboys and Giants are 0-4 straight up in all other games this season. So should Dallas be laying this type of number on the road? Well, I run some early week public sentiment numbers, and not surprisingly, the public is still on Dallas in this game. But it's not a fade the public situation because one of the reasons we fade the public is because we get line value. That's actually not the case here. In fact, the look ahead bettable line a week ago was Dallas minus seven. Now it's Dallas minus five, five and a half. So the line's actually less than it was before Dallas lost to Baltimore on Sunday. I'm going to look at the total instead. I think that's where the value is at this game. And I like under 45 for a few reasons. First of all, look ahead line a week ago, and even the opening line was around 44. So we're actually getting some value now. And by the way, 45 is a key number. So under 45 or more is a nice number. That's a fairly high total for the modern NFLs. We're seeing a lot of totals in the 30s now and a lot of unders. Thursday night games also have trended under recently because of the short turnaround. Makes a lot of sense, right? Both teams played Sunday. They each have just three days of rest and preparation. Dallas actually loses one with travel. Um, so once again, although the Cowboys are the better team, situationally, it usually favors the home team on Thursday night. So let's not look at the side. Let's look at the total here for this video. And I like under 45. Giants got that one against Cleveland last week. I did a free play video here on the channel. I told you New York plus six and a half had some value. Uh, the public is also leaning towards Cleveland. Uh, that was more of a play against the Browns than anything. I'm not a believer in the Giants. And by the way, you know, they held the commanders to seven field goals a couple weeks ago. Uh, but Washington moved that ball up and down the field. But then again, Washington's offense is looking pretty good. That nice upset win at Cincinnati on Monday night. Jaden Daniels, the real deal, is the number two overall draft pick this season. Rookie quarterback. Not my Washington. May, maybe my Washington Commanders. We'll see. They're looking decent. I don't know. I tapped out on that franchise decades ago. But seriously, in this NFC East matchup, I like the under because I still don't believe in this Giants offense. And if you look at the numbers this year, it backs it up. They can't run the ball. Uh, they've had 112 yards or less rushing in two of their three games, including that win last week against Cleveland. Um, this is a team that did struggle to stop the run against Washington a couple weeks ago. Mobile quarterback, obviously, and Daniels as well. But Dallas can't run the ball. They had 102 rushing yards against Cleveland. They've had 68 and 51 rushing yards the last two weeks in those losses. They are a pass-heavy offense once again this season. And the Giants' strength so far on defense this year has actually been the pass defense. So you've got Cowboys' strength against Giants' defensive strength. Giants on the season are giving up over 5 yards per rush, but they're only giving up 6.2 yards per pass and only 5.6 yards per play. So I do think they can hold Dallas in check, especially with the secondary. Cowboys don't run the ball at all. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have had a weakness on defense this year, to say the least. In fact, their run D has been bad, 5.5 yards per rush against teams that average 5. They face some good rushing opponents, but their pass defense has been really bad. 7.4 yards per pass allowed against teams that average just 6.3, while the Giants average just 5.4. They've been one of the weakest passing offenses in the NFL, and they're averaging just 15 points a game below 5 yards per play. So while I do think this Cowboy defense is suspect, uh, they're taking a huge step down in class here against this Giants offense now after facing New Orleans and Baltimore the last two weeks. So I like the under here. I think this line is inflated, and these are two teams that are not going to move the ball with as much success as you might think. Cowboys, Giants, short week. Take a look at under 45 in this divisional game on Thursday Night Football. Prime Network, 815 Eastern. Hey, comment below. Are you watching Prime? Got some great comments last week, by the way. Gave you that easy winner of the Jets here over the Patriots for last Thursday night. And I said, who gets prime? Who's cut the cord for cable? Got hundreds of comments. I love it. Keep them coming. I read all the comments and I reply back. Let me know your thoughts. If you didn't chime in last week, what are your thoughts on these pay-per-view NFL games? And uh, are you on board? Do you get NFL prime? Are you old school? I had somebody say they still use the rabbit ears. That took me back. I remember that as a kid. Hey, I've been doing this for a while. 29th year as a full-time professional sports handicapper. 29th football season. We've gone 10 and 4 the last two weeks on best bets at Wager Talk in college and pro football. Not a surprise. The last two seasons coming in, I was number one in ATS units one for all cappers in college and pro football combined. Number one in all of baseball this year, 30 and 9 current MLB best bet run. 
And oh yeah, I'm number one the last three years in the NBA combined. The NBA starts in a month. College Hoops was number one a couple years ago. I know what you're thinking. How do I get baseball, football, basketball? Ah, maybe in all sports, all access. And you're right. That is the best way to win consistently long term is to play every play, every sport, every day. Set it and forget it. It takes five minutes a day to get the plays, put them in, and treat this as a serious investment. And now is a great time to do so because we have a buy three month, get the fourth month free special this week and this week only. You buy that 90-day package, we're including another 30-day package, a $2.99 value for free. It works out to $7 a day, about $2 to $3 per play for every football, baseball, and basketball best bet into late January, the next four months. Now, if you want everything, the best deal, I'll bring it back this week. Y'all keep jumping on it each week, so I just keep it coming back. We've had tons of you take advantage of the one-year all-access special with the instant $800 discount. If you sat back and missed out, shame on you. 10 and 4 the last two weeks in football since I started bringing that offer up on these videos. 30 and 9 in baseball over the past month. Basketball is about to start. So yes, the One Sport All Access code is still good. An instant $800 discount with SM365. That gets it down to $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, baseball, and basketball best bet. So once again, if you want to try out a shorter term package, you buy the three month, the 90 day, you get another 30 days free. So it's buy three, you get the fourth month. Or if you're ready for a long-term consistent approach, the one-year all-access package with promo code SM365 gets it down to about a dollar a play. You don't have to memorize these special offers or the promo codes. They're all on my homepage right now. Go to Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Right below the daily best bets, you will see a bonus free play. That's right. I post a free play every day on my page for you. And then right below that are the weekly specials with the promo codes and other special offers. Don't delay. 10 and 4 the last two weeks in football alone. 30 and 9 baseball run and basketball is about to start. Check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And of course, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And comment below here on YouTube. I do read the comments or reply back. What are your thoughts on the Cowboys and the Giants? Are these playoff teams? You know, one and two starts. You don't make the postseason too often. Is Dallas a playoff team? Let me know your thoughts, how you're playing this game. Hey, include some Thursday night props, player props. Always love to see that with some analysis as well in the comments. I do read them. I reply back. Thumbs up, like these free play videos, and also click subscribe and click the bell for an instant alert. Got a free play for you in the Army Temple Thursday night college football game and also the Friday night college football game, Washington Rutgers. Those free play videos are also here. So click subscribe and click the bell so you never miss out here on Wager Talk TV, including my top 25 college football video and NFL Fade the Public Week 4 videos this weekend. Click the bell for instant alerts when you subscribe and stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for more great free betting content coming up next.